Hey, Scott. How are you? Hey, John. How you doing? Great to see you again. You too. So uh, tell us a little bit about what we're going to do today. Sure, sure. Um, I appreciate you having me on for the interview today. And, um, you know, we're, uh, we're, we're a top producing real estate team located here in New Haven County in Connecticut. Uh, we service New Haven County, Fairfield, right outside of New York City, all the way up to Hartford and Middlesex County as well. And uh, we've been rocking and rolling since January 4th of 2018 and coming back from the Christmas break. Yes, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. So um, obviously there's a ton of questions. I mean, this time of year, it's it's spring. You know, people are finally getting out of the cold winter. They're ready to take some action and maybe make a move or sell their home. Sure. Talk to me a little bit about like what you're seeing. What are some of the the hot price points that you're seeing that are move that are turning over? Like, tell me a little bit about the market and what you're seeing, and so people can get a grasp or an idea of, of what's going on if they want to get in. Absolutely, sure. I mean, you know, the, the market's on fire just because it's the spring market right now. I think in 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 you know in 20 years of being in real estate, I don't think I've ever had a bad spring market, regardless of whether the market was up or down. Um, this is probably the busiest start that we've seen to a spring real estate market in three years. And the inventory is flying off the shelf. Um, it's not that every property is getting multiple offer situations, but the shiny pennies and the properties with, you know, upgraded bathrooms and kitchens, those are getting multiple offer situations as long as they're priced properly. Um, we just had a property over here at one Wayne Road in Wallingford. And, you know, it was an older three bedroom, one and a half bath, uh, one level ranch built in the 1950s. And the guy actually had a neighbor that approached him. The guy had owned it for like 30 something years, no mortgage on it. Neighbor wanted to buy it for $190,000. He almost accepted the offer. And then he met with us. So our real estate team went in there and they said, look, he said, you got a great house. It's definitely worth more than that, but you got to paint the whole place. You got to clean it out. You got to redo the hardwood floors. And he listened to us. Ah. So he took our advice and let us do our job. So, so he, so we coordinated the painting of the house, our team, um, we got somebody to, uh, refinish the hardwood floors. They brought like 10 dumpsters, no exaggeration of stuff out of the house and the basement. We actually sold it for $50,000 more than what he almost, uh, accepted with the neighbor for the 190. So it just, it, it definitely pays to talk to a real estate professional and talk to a real estate team that's actually doing volume in your area because they can give you some advice and they can make sure you're not leaving any money on the table. Obviously every seller is selling for a different reason, different set of circumstances. We get it, but it, and that's where reference points and experience comes in. I always say you can't fast forward reference points and experience, yeah. um, reference points and experience matter. Yeah. I mean, but it, it makes a huge difference, right? So, I mean, how, maybe this guy, what invested, five grand into doing all those things and if that just about that okay and so just that alone so having uh someone like like you and your team come in and advise the client on what the best things are to do to get the most bang for the buck for the home so talk to me a little bit about uh the price points that you see mo like moving off the shelf like where there's a lot of buyers coming in and trying to get into the market yeah, I mean, in in New Haven County and Wallingford, um, you know, like that three hundred thousand dollar and under price point is flying off the shelf. Um, any any of the upgrader homes in that four bedroom, two and a half bath upgrader home, you know, with the master bedroom suites with the full bathrooms and the walk in closets, uh, you know, that price point is like that four fifty to three fifty, and that's flying off the shelf too. Um, in New Haven County, anything, you know, depending on the town, every town is very different. But, you know, once you break that $500,000 mark, um, definitely talk to a real estate professional and make sure you're using the right individual for the proper positioning and marketing of the house. So, um, John, tell me a little bit about the, like, if you're a seller right now and you want to get into the market, like, how do you go about getting the right, like identifying what the right price is for your home? 
Well, that's a, that's a really great question. And again, that comes back to reference points and experience with the real estate broker and team that you're hiring. I can't stress the experience enough because there is a science to it, but there's also an art to it. You know, there's a fine line between pushing the envelope on price and overpricing that house and crossing that line. So what we're saying to the sellers is, look, if anybody can push the envelope on price, we can push the envelope on price, but there's a fine line between crossing that line. And it's our job to make sure that we're, we're pushing it right up to that line, but we're not crossing that line because you're dealing with a smarter, more educated buyer than you've ever dealt with in the history of real estate. So yes, you do have an advantage as a seller in this marketplace because there is a lack of inventory, but you're only going to be able to push that envelope on price to a point if that makes sense yeah it absolutely absolutely does and uh i'm getting a little feedback there but um so if someone wants to get into the market right now john what do you suggest they do where do they go how do they talk to you um and obviously there's a ton of value for you to help them and 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 another question that i have is what do, what do they need? Like, what specifically would you tell someone, whether they're buying or selling right now, that's important for them to, to pay attention to when they're they're getting involved? OK, I, I would I would tell them that it's very, very important that they hire a real estate team or broker or agent that's using professional photography, that's using video, that's offering home warranties on every property they sell to position their properties above the competition. Um, I, would, I would advise them on using experienced real estate agents with a team behind them and not just a single agent, not to say that single agents can't do a great job. There's a lot of great single real estate agents out there. I don't wanna get bombarded with emails, but when you're dealing with a real estate team, you're also dealing with a very large support staff. So for example, on my real estate team, you also get three full-time support staff, including an in-house full-time social media manager that's marketing your properties online. So, you know, it's very, very, you know, at the end of the day, the buyers know exactly what they're looking for. It's never been our job or to, our job to tell a buyer what they're looking for. You're hiring a real estate broker or a team for their negotiation experience and for their marketing expertise. Scott, I'll tell you one more story real quick. Um, yeah, please. The way you market matters. Um, we had a gentleman in Guilford, Connecticut that actually, um, he was original builder of the house, built it in 86. He never sold a home before 86, moving down to Virginia. To make a long story short, he hired two other real estate agents from his town. We were the third real estate broker that he hired. It was on the market for two years with no offers. We sold his house um, only in 23 days on the market to a couple from Brooklyn, New York, that had actually sold their 1200 square foot co-op and they were relocate, relocating to the Guilford Madison area. And they found us online through our marketing and our marketing approach that we took for this property. So, so how you market and the way that you market matters. Yeah, that's fantastic. And, it, and it's, it's so true. Um, and, uh, so John, uh, again, and uh, we appreciate everyone sticking around who's still watching. Uh, <laughs> if someone wants to get a hold of you, what's the best way uh, to work with your team? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can call me direct at 203-980-6886 or just go online to our website at carbeautyrealestate.com. It's spelled C-A-R-B-U-T-T-I realestate.com. And uh, you could just message us uh, right through the website and we'll get back to you right away. We usually get back to you um, within five minutes or less. Perfect. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, we'll see him again soon, right, John? Excellent, absolutely, Scott. This is great. All right. Thank you for having us.